can tell a story in a lot of different ways, and the way you tell a story sets kind of a mood, or it can look sinister, or it can look like there's nothing going on. So I'm gonna read this. This is from Sean Michael Maybe. This is going on this week in Kinlon. It is so disturbing to know that four current councilmen decided to hold a special meeting three days before the new year when the mayor and I are not able to attend. They know this. What is so urgent and special? Now that sounds kind of sinister, right? That sounds like we're having some kind of special meeting, not letting anybody know. And I just want to make it clear, we had a snow meeting. We had a meeting that was canceled because of a snowstorm. This was a makeup meeting, voting on things that, that we've been working on. If you have an issue, come to the council meeting and say it in the council meeting. Don't go on Facebook and social media and, and start these rumors and, and not give all the information. Just in the retort, I stand by 1,000% my Facebook post. After serving as a councilman for over two years, I stand by that. There's been many times throughout my service as a councilman that I've been kept in the dark, that they've done things behind closed doors. So there really, realistically, was nothing special about that meeting. Well, make part of your report an enumeration of what we've done behind closed doors. Um, there was a meeting with Roxbury. And if it was not for one of the municipal workers calling me on the phone, I would have never been able to talk to Roxbury about the program coming, which is the meeting that they held that I posted about. So that is the type of stuff that has gone on. And that's all I have to say about that, because that's it's factual. factual. It's, fa it's factual and true. No, it's it's, it's true. fabrication. Okay. Yeah, Joe. it's not factual. There are minutes for many committees. I don't know if we need a newsletter. And when I hear conversations about postings and things being discussed off the record and behind doors, I have met many of you, but I don't actually know any of you. I find a lot of things here tonight incredibly disturbing. And you can hear my voice is shaking because I was not planning on getting up. But I find myself disturbed. And I will be honest, I'm suddenly noticing, you're all men. Where are the women? You don't even have to answer it. I just, I am very discouraged. Every woman, every woman in Kinlaw has the right to run. I, I, I understand that, but what's being encouraged? So my main point is, I, can tell you, I feel like I don't know what's ask. going on, even though I've tried. But it's very difficult to figure out what's going on. Yeah, so, and I just can't find this stuff out. Well, you know, I'm, t I'm just trying to swallow this thing that a woman is not never on this council. We've asked women, uh, a lot of them, it's not that this council does not welcome a woman. I, I, we would love to have them. They, they just need to run. My main point is. I can tell you. My main point is. I can tell you. My main point is. I can tell you. I feel like I don't know what's ass. going on, even though I've tried. You can hear my voice is shaking. You can hear my voice is shaking. You can hear my voice is shaking. sang a song to me in tones so soft and low just a simple little ditty in her good old irish way and i give the world if i could hear that song of hers today to Ralu Ralu to Ralu Ralai, to Ralu Ralu Hush now, don't you cry. To Ralu. That's an Irish love. 